Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I'm just going to go through a few extra changes that I've made to the Phenom 100 EV mod which you can find in the description. For those who don't know this is a mod where I have uh, changed the engine thrust and modified the flight model. Um, I have done some further updates and um, I will show you what I have actually done. So let's switch these batteries on. Put the generator to auto. This plane is very simple to start up. Uh, it's incredibly easy. Uh, I've got very used to doing this as <laughs> I've tested uh, this a lot. So we just start both the engines here. We're just going to take this for a um, circuit pattern to kind of show you. So this is an aircraft from Poxper and uh, effectively I am using the FT Sim Plus sounds which I also recommend in the description. And um, I did some tweaks to this aircraft um, to make this a lot better. And in my most recent update, which was released yesterday, um, I have actually completely changed the flight model. So the number one thing I have done, um, and I will show you the difference. It's kind of hard to see exactly, but you'll notice this exactly, is I'm now using the Sim Update 15's ground handling. So this allows or makes the plane feel a lot more realistic. We're just going to kind of try and do a tight turn here out of here. Set our altitude up. This is a little bit finicky to kind of scroll here, but there we go. So you'll notice that the aircraft is sort of like, when I, when I break it, bounces a little bit more. And that's because there's actual suspension physics now on the front gear. Uh, this is something which was added in some update 18, 15, but I've added it into this aircraft. So before the aircraft was very solid. And the other thing you'll kind of notice is this aircraft is 100% easier to taxi. It actually feels like it has grip. And if it's raining, you'll notice it. And I spent a lot of time tweaking this. If you're going really fast in this jet, you might want to kind of use the toe brakes a little bit to make the uh, turning a little bit sharper. Um, but generally speaking, yeah, sh sh it feels it feels a lot better. Um, it's a little bit of a hill here, which is why I just need a little bit of power. So in this mod as well, as uh, a lot of you know, I also increased the engine thrust to be similar to the uh, EV. So it's a lot more uh, nippier on the takeoff. Um, I've also modified the entire flight model, and I'll show you what that feels like because. The next thing I added, which uh, I think this is one of the only jets in the game to actually have this modeling, and it took me a very long time to get this right, but we use um, the CFD, Fluid Dynamics, uh, which is usually uh, allows for uh, props to feel a little bit more realistic. But what this means is there's actually realistic airflow going over the plane now. And this is actually really interesting because on crosswinds you'll notice it and you'll uh, notice it in the air as well. The plane feels a lot more alive. Uh, before it just felt like to me that it was sort of like on rails. It would just fly kind of perfectly. And now it feels a lot more realistic in my opinion. It feels a lot more like a light jet would handle. So we're just coming onto the wrong way here. This is a very easy aircraft to fly. And uh, with this mod, you can you can feel how, uh, like it's hard to describe, but you'll feel it, but you can feel the actual grip on the tires now. And the other amazing thing is this aircraft was usually really annoying uh, to take off. So we'll put this into toga. Uh, because the aircraft would slide on the on, on the runway, but you can see now the little bumps which weren't in there before uh, as the uh, gear kind of wobbles a little bit and it's really simple now to keep her in a straight line before it was a little bit of a pain. Once we reach about 100 knots we can pull back very slightly and she will really smoothly lift off. You want to pop the gear up as soon as possible, keep the flaps into 5 just for this climb, just get maximum climb. Uh, we should have put her in takeoff mode but it's absolutely fine. So the other thing I modified is um, I felt like the plane felt a little bit sluggish and I haven't actually increased its turn rate but I've increased the response, uh, uh, like the responsiveness of the actual control column. Um, so it's a lot more easier to kind of hand fly and, and you should hopefully feel that uh, when flying. So it, it's now 
really fun to kind of hand fly and we've got a lot more responsiveness i can i can get a lot more like kind of fine tuning here and with the the uh, cfd dynamics um it makes it kind of fun to kind of fly so we'll pop the flaps up now and we're just gonna hand fly the circuit for now I'm trying to keep her around and as you can see the climb rate is rather impressive on this plane and we're just gonna shoot through 3000 that's fine but um, it's really easy to hand fly now um, the fair deck is working perfectly as well uh, that's the one bit of code I can't actually modify and she's actually really kind of a, a simple aircraft to fly at the moment uh, just like the real one is really um, really nice hand flying plane um, and you really feel the kind of wind uh, and how that actually takes effect on the aircraft now uh, the thrust will actually affect the airframe sometimes slightly when you're at lower speeds so I'm just completely hand flying this uh, I haven't actually even used the trim yet um, which is kind of nice kind of line her up slightly off there now so and um, gen generally for approach um, in the default aircraft I always found the flap behavior really weird I have re-coded the flaps completely um, they will have different lift and drag aspects depending on them so when you reach so I'm just going to trim her down a little bit now but just so I can show you guys something so we'll keep her just there for a little bit so if you look here there is actual reference and this is the reference for the Royal Aircraft so flap 1 you should be under 200 2 or 3 at 160 Okay. so at this point under 200 you want to put 5 degrees of flaps and you, you will notice that adds a little bit of drag now um, so we, we need to slightly uh, kind of thrust up to keep her about 180 and um, generally speaking not what I found a huge annoyance uh, in the default flight model was um, even at like a slightly degree of flaps you used to have to like throw up to basically max and you do kind of have to do that still but it's nowhere near as bad um, so we're gonna descend and we're gonna just do a like a turn now into our final so um, so what we want to do is we just thrust back as we're turning around here you'll notice that the aircraft will generally keep at speed if we're descending a little bit but this is fine and it's kind of hard to show on a video but if you have this add-on do pick up the mod and let me know what you think of the fly handling now because for me it handles really nicely right now <laughs> Um, I'm not a real fun and pilot so I can't tell you if it's 100% realistic but I have uh, looked up kind of the charts um, and it is within its kind of chart behavior uh, we're gonna be slightly off of the line up here but yeah we're 165 so that's when you put down flaps 2 and then you want to keep around 150 the approach speed or the final approach speed should be about 110 knots in this plane uh, we're gonna have to do like a little bit of a military-esque turn here because I didn't line up perfectly but uh, this plane can handle a lot so let me come down here now we're descending quite sharply we're gonna put the gear down now and the gear will add a little bit of drag so that will actually help us slow down here as we sort of kind of line up and um, this is quite a steep descent you know 1800 you usually come down at 1000 kind of 500 and uh, we don't want to put down the next flaps just yet. We, in fact, we can actually do it now. So that will go up to flap three. And um, I found that the default flight model liked to float a lot. The real aircraft does float a little bit, but nowhere near as much as the other one. So we'll put the full flaps down now. And um, we're looking for an approach speed now of about 110. Um, you can see something else I added there right at the bottom. Um, it actually shows the lines now of where the kind of stall speed is. Um, you don't really want to be getting into that red area. Um, anywhere in the yellow area there is fine for touchdown, but on the approach here, you want to keep around 100 to 110 knots. So somewhere around here, somewhere where it says AP uh, is fine. 
So we add a little bit of thrust, but you notice you don't have to put loads of thrust in like before, which made it very difficult to land. And um, you want to come in slightly shallower than the actual glide scopes it says in this aircraft. Um, is my general finding. So we're around 93 now. We're a little bit slow actually, but this will be fine for a touchdown. Uh, touchdown speed is around here, so. And we just come in really smoothly. And as you come in really smoothly, you can then just reduce the throttle and she will glide very slightly, but nowhere near as much as the default and just touch down. And the other thing you'll find is with the new ground physics that this is so much easier to keep on the center line. <laughs> like um, the default flight model will kind of make you kind of swerve off um, really easily. And then, yeah, basically you can just glide down to the end and kind of tap the tow brakes a little bit and she will slow down. You notice the wobbles and stuff. And she flies really nice now. Um, we we'll just slow her down. Once you're below 40 knots, you can start turning the aircraft if you want, but we we'll just taxi off here. I'm not sure this is an official taxiway. But I'll just show you how nice, you'll notice how easy it is for me to keep on the center line now. Um, I can do it like within, you know, like a millimeter precision almost, uh, because the landing uh, physics and stuff, the tire physics are really nice in this aircraft now. And it feels very real to me. Let's switch the strobes off, uh, and there we go. So yeah, like I say, Please check out this frightened model if you have this aircraft and you're interested. Um, it flies, in my opinion, really nice now. And um, I kind of enjoy doing a lot of flights on uh, about sim and stuff with this aircraft now. Thanks for watching the video and if uh, you have any questions, do let me know.